Hello my chum chums, it's the Culture Detective here investigating your favorite movies and today I have to do two reviews so I'll do this one very quickly so that I can have more time to do my other review. But essentially I'm going to review a movie that I watched yesterday and that is Promising Young Woman, written and directed by Emerald Fennell or, or Fennell, Emerald Fennell, I'm going to say Fennell. So Promising Young Woman is a movie about a woman who is at her 30, uh, who is 30, and her name is Cassie, played by Carrie Mulligan. She wanted to take revenge against people who had raped, watched Nina being raped and did nothing, and people who heard of the story but did nothing and he and, and she essentially wants to take revenge against all of them and avenge nina's death nina is was her best friend and so that is essentially the story it is a revenge tale and it is a thriller maybe a bit of dark comedy mixed into it and um first of all i honestly expected this movie to be bland and typical and generic as hell but actually it's not it's actually pretty damn entertaining especially the last act it's it's climactic it's unexpected there's also a very small but effective plot twist towards the end which i really like bo burnham is in this movie and he plays a really nice dude named ryan and I like what Emerald Fennell did with his character. You know, there are movies like this, you know, and I also recently watched Thelma and Louise where all the male characters are bad. You know, all of them suck. All men suck. And uh, in this movie, Emerald Fennell kind of achieves something similar except in a different way. And usually I don't like it when movies are like, yes, everything sucks. Like every kind of this thing sucks and every kind of that thing sucks. But Emerald Fennell does it in a way where at first we're almost like, oh, hey, there's a nice guy. And then turns out he's not so nice, maybe. And uh, there are actually good male characters in this movie. Um, but they're not main characters. They're only side characters. Now, this movie also isn't without its flaws. There are some dialogues that sound kind of cheesy. There are moments in the movie that's just not all that well directed, a little jumpy perhaps. And the performances are pretty good overall, but um, I think the uh, some of the characters just act in a way it's kind of cartoonish, it's almost irritating. And overall, the writing quality isn't really like tip top. Or anything you know it's 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 good but that's as far as it goes but yes again the ending a lot of people thought the ending ruined the movie but um, I actually like the ending I thought it's unexpected and um, yeah it subverts our expectations really well and it definitely does that yeah so yeah aside from that not much else to add uh, Carrie Mulligan may or may not win Best Actress, though I still root for Vanessa Kirby. And yeah, Promising Young Woman, pretty promising movie, I guess. <laughs> Feeling a strong 7. Um, I'm going to be generous here, and I'm going to give a light 8. Strong, 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 strong 7 uh, to a light 8 out of 10 a very reluctant light 8 also this being said I want to say that I have watched all eight of the best picture nominees in this year's Oscars Judas Mank Trial of the Chicago 7 uh, this one Minari um, Sound of Metal Nomadland that's nominated and then um, I just don't remember all, all of them. Uh, and the father. So uh, I'm going to make a video sometime before the Oscars, sort of predicting who are going to be the winners or not. So stay tuned for that. So uh, yeah, what are your thoughts on Promising Young Woman? From one of the numbers you read it, like, like it, and subscribe if you want more. And thanks for watching.